Hey guys, it's Peter from Nerds for Life blog, and today I'm going to be talking about episode 7 of Baruto. Episode 7, things started to get a little bit creepy. We've been slowly looking at these new characters, slowly getting to know them. They're the new characters of the old generation's actual children, in a lot of cases. But this episode, we met someone who was somewhat different, and things got borderline weird. At the beginning, it looked like it was Chocho's stalker, but in actual fact, it ended up being Samir's stalker, which, again, is not any better at all. Everything got borderline really weird. There were messages on blackboards, uh, the guy was holographic, uh, pages were flying through the air, and she was pretty much getting reminded that he was always around. His first sentence in the entire show was, I just wanted to breathe the same air as her. This is not a normal thought! At all! So things started to get pretty heated. That weird chakra that we've been seeing over the last few episodes infected him, as we assumed it would, and he went ballistic and started to attack Baruto and his friends. As things started to get pretty intense, there are knives coming out of everywhere, the guy's invisible, things are getting good, action's starting to happen, because the first chunk of the episode was creepy, but kind of boring. Chojo steps in and saves the day. Now, I don't mind that she stepped in, but the thing I do mind is the fact that it was all resolved by potato chips. Potato chips saved the day. That ruined the episode for me. I think, I think, I think this episode was pretty stupid, to be honest. It was, it was pretty silly. It was, it seemed to me it was more like filler than actual series, but it was, it was part of the series. Hopefully things start getting a little bit more intense. Yes, we got to see more of that chakra. It looked to take the form of a beast rather than just a purple uh, cloak. This thing might not be controlled by someone, that this might actually be a thing taking control of someone. We also discovered in this episode that for the chakra to leave, you don't have to be knocked out or defeated. You just got to calm down. So that's another key thing, which we haven't really seen in the previous episodes. Now, Shikamaru and Naruto also mentioned at the end of the episode that their investigations have led to the fact that there are people being admitted to hospital who are apparently low on chakra and extremely low on chakra and Shikamaru thinks that it's all related. Obviously we don't know for sure but one thing is definitely for certain Mizuki definitely knows what's going on. It's pretty clear that he does. There is some sort of investigation. He was talking to his snake. I assume he was talking tele uh, telepathically with Orochimaru, his father. That's something I don't know for sure, but there is something going on there that's pretty creepy. So that's it for today. Make sure to visit the website for more Dragon Ball Super, like our exclusive interview with Goku's voice actress, Masako Nozawa, or for more Naruto and One Piece and gaming news as well. Or you can subscribe or like our Facebook page and Twitter, which you can find the links in the description below.